stroll in the capital has brought me to one of the most beautiful historic sites in Tehran, Gulistan Palace, which is about 400 years old. So join me as I take a quick tour of this beautiful palace. The oldest historic monument in Tehran, Gulistan Palace, was originally built during the Safavid dynasty, but later renovated and rebuilt during the 19th century when the palace complex was selected as the royal residence and seat of power by the Qajar ruling family. The lavish complex is considered a masterpiece of Qajar art, embodying the successful integration of earlier Persian crafts and architecture with Western influences. Well, it's something which we don't have actually in Sabakia, so or actually in Europe, so this is very ancient cultures and very impressive. <laughs> I thought it was very beautiful and intricate and I thought it was very detailed and it had a lot of tradition behind it as well, so I liked it. Built around a garden featuring pools as well as planted areas, the palace's most characteristic features and rich ornaments date from the 19th century, when it was a center of Qajari arts and architecture, of which it is still an outstanding example and has remained a source of inspiration for Iranian artists and architects to this day. It represents a new style incorporating traditional Persian arts and crafts and elements of 18th century architecture and technology. We are in the biggest hall of the main palace at Golestan. This hall underwent a lot of changes after Nasreddin Shah the Qajar king traveled to Europe and this particular hall was designated for special ceremonies. As the main section of Gulistan Palace, Salam Hall represents a unique and rich testimony of the architectural language and decorative art during the Qajar era, represented mostly in the legacy of Nasir din Shah. It reflects artistic inspirations of European origin, influencing Persian style. خب اینجا دومی موزه تخصصی ناصر الدین شاهه که سال 1290 قمری ساخته میشه. افتتاح اینجا دو سال طول میکشه چون ناصر الدین شاه قرار خودش کارشناسی کنه اشیایی که طی سفرش از اروپا خریداری کرده یا اینکه بهش هدیه داده شده. اشیا همه شاخص هستن، نماد و نشان کشورهای اروپایی در اینجا قرار گرفته. خب بعدها مراسم تشریفات از تالار مجاور که با نام تالار آینه ساخته شده بود به اینجا منتقل میشه. The sparkling interior of Gulistan Palace is what makes it stand out. Mirrors have been used extensively to decorate the interior of buildings in Iran, and Iranian craftsmen have developed this particular art over centuries. It requires a great deal of finesse and attention to detail. It's uh, for sure something that you cannot see in Europe or any other place and it's very specific for Iran and uh, I really like how it's used to enlighten the space of the, of the palace and uh, it for sure gives a totally specific feeling to the space which I really really like. I believe it's really good to look into the past to to get inspired and to take those ideas to the future. So it's very good to be in a place like this to get inspired. But there's even more for visitors to feast their eyes on. Persian carpets are among the most exquisite handmade items and I really don't need to go on and on about how amazingly beautiful they are. But there's something special about the collection here. These carpets date back to the Qajar dynasty and it's the first time that they're put on display. By all measures, the 18th century was the height of fabulous Persian rugs. 
There was a large market in Europe for these beautiful tapestries, and in the 19th century, the Qajar dynasty started a program designed to promote cultural revitalization of the local crafts. This prompted a variety of designs. این پکیجی که شما الان مجموعه شاهدش هستید برای اولین بار به نمایش در اومده و ابتداش قرار بود ما قالیچه های تصویری داشته باشیم بعد به جهت بی‌نظیر بودن آثار که به صورت خاص که شما می‌بینید البته تصویر هم که شما می‌بینید تصویری هم داریم که در دوره قاجار دوباره شروع میشه بیش از 340 تخت قالی که از این 340 میشه گفت بیش از 220 تخت قالیش مربوط دوره قاجار هست از لحاظ طراحی از لحاظ نقشه میشه گفت که فوق العاده ترین آثاری که تا حالا به نمایش در نیومده The Qajar era is marked by introducing new techniques in Persian art. Calligraphers of this period started experimenting with inks in an unprecedented spectrum of colors and unusual formats, and started using multi-directional writing with overlapping letters. On est venu dans ce palais puisque c'est un incontournable de Téhéran. Et on a déjà visité donc euh, le tombeau, si je ne dis pas de bêtises à l'entrée, et le euh, palais des miroirs. On a trouvé vraiment impressionnant par rapport aux, aux différentes couleurs. Puis sinon, on se balade dans les jardins et puis là, on va continuer la visite avec les différents autres palais au fait, qui restent. The building of Windcatchers or Emirat Badgir was constructed during the reign of Fath Ali Shah. Four wind towers outside allow the wind to move through the building, keeping it cool in summer. It has two rooms and boasts the finest stained glass windows in the palace. But this is not the only building in the Gulistan Palace which will impress you with its decorations. Each of the buildings here is unique in its own way. Shamsul Emare was the tallest building in the capital. It was actually considered an icon symbolizing Tehran. Shamsul Emare, or the edifice of the sun, is considered the most stunning structure of Gulistan Palace. The idea of building a tall structure came to Nasir Din Shah, who wanted to have a panoramic view of the city. The construction of the building began in 1865, and it was completed in two years. Now, all of the beautiful buildings that you just saw are located in an immense garden, a garden which itself is a great example of Persian-style gardens. I'm talking about the same gardens that have been registered at the UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Historians say Persian gardens may have originated as early as 4000 BC. From the time of the Achaemenid Empire, the idea of an earthly paradise is seen in Persian literature. These gardens are enclosed and follow several simple design rules. Water is omnipresent and geometric shapes are the secret to its beauty. Kisumi Shahmadi for Iran. <laughs>